Well, the, the Torrible Act has been out for a couple of years now, since 2019, so every social and private rent has got to be up to an LD2 from an LD3 standard. And the Scottish Government played a big, big part after the Grenfell fire to make sure that all homes in Scotland have got to be up to a certain level of protection. Um, with now that we're going through this sort of a, this era now that all homes have got to be up to that level, you know, this will be picked up through either insurances or home reports. Um, and I think going forward, I think maybe like annual inspections with gas and everything else going into the properties, you know, we'll basically have a quick check on each alarm that's in the property. Accordingly, it's no surprise that in the wake of the new Scottish Tolerable Standard, the industry has seen a marked shift towards the wireless interlinking of alarms. Beyond the speed of installation, it's far easier and faster to add additional smoke, heat or carbon monoxide alarms to a wireless system. Choosing the right alarms and wireless interconnection technology also enables cost-effective IoT integration of new and existing installations simply by adding a connected gateway to the alarm network. This delivers further benefits as gateway devices can harbor onboard sensors such as temperature and humidity monitoring, thereby enabling a more comprehensive picture of what's going on in the property.